Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Kendall Gilding. Good afternoon. Our top stories this Friday. Frustration and confusion on the eve of strict new border rules for Queensland. Thousands rush back to the Sunshine State to avoid quarantine. Businesses and workers thrown a lifeline with a multi-billion dollar expansion to JobKeeper. How the scheme will help Queenslanders. Now is not the time. The stern advice from police to refugee protesters planning to target the Story Bridge. And what should be day one of ECA 2020. How locals still got their hands on strawberry sundaes and Dagwood dogs. Good afternoon. As the COVID crisis continues to evolve in Victoria and New South Wales, Queensland has recorded another day of no new cases. And with a hard closure of the state's borders imminent, delays are getting longer, with new restrictions causing more confusion. Tom Hartley reports. Well, here at Brisbane Airport, we've met plenty of people this morning making that last minute dash into our state to avoid being locked out altogether or forced into hotel quarantine. From 1am tomorrow, New South Wales and the ACT will join Queensland's growing list of COVID hotspots. Essentially, their entire populations will be banned from entering Queensland and any Queenslanders who decide to return will be forced into two weeks of hotel quarantine at their own expense. Samantha Donoghue is from the Sunshine Coast. She returns from the nation's capital this morning. I just took the opportunity that I had a little bit of time before they closed everything off to... I've already changed my flight three times just to get here. At the southernmost border checkpoints, queues are building and they're expected to worsen with police given orders to stop every single car and check every person's documentation. Queenslanders wanting to return after 1am tomorrow morning will need to come back by flight unless they have the exemptions. Well, there are exemptions for essential workers and people who live on the Queensland-New South Wales border, with several border bubbles being announced. It's quite complex, but essentially residents in a new list of border-bound communities and suburbs will be able to download a special pass allowing them to travel to adjacent border communities. But the website where to download those passes is still being built and authorities aren't exactly confident it'll be up and running smoothly in time. I can guarantee everyone that we will still enforce the new system and then everyone will get stopped as at 1am until we can catch up with that system. And with again no new cases in Queensland, the government's defending these strict measures as a necessity to ensure the work done to keep COVID contained in Queensland isn't undone. If we have no further cases in the next few days, then we'll be able to review all of those own risk restrictions. In the news at six, we'll have the latest developments plus more detail on those border bubbles and available exemptions. Every Victorian Year 12 student will be given special consideration, boosting their end-of-school marks in the wake of the pandemic. It comes as the state recorded 450 infections overnight and 11 deaths. The army is knocking on more doors than ever before. Yesterday alone, 1,150 checks. Most Melburnians are following our strict Stage 4 lockdown, but still 150 people weren't home. There may be lawful reasons for that. Uh, addresses may be incorrect. People may be, may be uh, doing their ISO somewhere else. Uh, but it is clear there are some people who are not. And uh, that's why Victoria Police have additional powers. Another 450 coronavirus cases have been recorded in the state in the past 24 hours. 11 more Victorians have lost their lives. Seven of those are linked to our aged care crisis. There are now more than 600 Victorians fighting the virus in hospital. That's 69 more than yesterday. Our mystery cases have increased 66 unknown cases of transmission in the community. More than 2,400 people who've tested positive now don't know how they contracted the virus. So that number is lower than it has been in recent days. We're obviously pleased about that, but still far too many of those community transmission mystery cases that we can't find the source or the circumstance behind that infection. Melbourne, a city usually thriving, now deserted on day two of our six-week lockdown. There is a lot of pain here, but ultimately there will be significant gain. Jacqueline Felgate, 7 News. Thousands of people are set to be given a cash boost from the government. A $15 billion expansion of the JobKeeper program has been announced to keep businesses and workers around the country afloat. Taylor Aiken has more on the changes. 
The federal government is making it easier for businesses to access JobKeeper from the end of September. Employers will only have to prove their revenue dropped 30% in the September quarter instead of the June quarter as well, and workers hired before July 1st will also now be eligible. The Treasurer says while the changes are national, he expects 80% of the additional $15 billion will be taken up by Victoria, with a further 500 thousand Victorian workers to be added to the program. That's due to the stage four lockdown restrictions. The cost ballooning out to $100 billion, but the government insists it is necessary. This is a program that conflicts based on the demand. And what we're seeing in Victoria is real demand in what is a real crisis. JobKeeper has been a lifeline to people's livelihoods. It's been a lifeline to businesses. The National Cabinet also met this morning with the outbreak in Victoria top of the agenda, including the impact of the Stage 4 lockdown on the economy. The National Cabinet agreed to an ongoing audit of aged care preparedness in responding to an outbreak, along with maintaining the cap on international arrivals. The Prime Minister also issued a warning about the international race to find a coronavirus vaccine. Whoever finds this vaccine must share it. Any country that would have found this vaccine and not make it available around the world uh, without restraint, I think would be judged terribly by history. The Prime Minister saying while a timeline of a vaccine is still not clear, if Australia was to be the first to find it, we would share it with the world. Scott Morrison calling on other world leaders to make the same public commitment. Broncos great Alan Langer will undergo COVID testing after he and two staff members attended a private function last weekend at Brisbane's Caxton Hotel. Langer won't travel with the team for tonight's Rabbitohs clash. That game is already missing South's coach Wayne Bennett, who's in isolation after breaching NRL protocols. Refugee protesters planning a mass sit-in on the Story Bridge tomorrow are holding firm on their plans despite police threatening them with immediate arrest. The Premier hasn't ruled out court action to stop the protest. Katrina Blowers reports. Well, the tension over tomorrow's planned protest has really kicked up a gear, with police telling protesters that anyone entering the bridge will be immediately arrested. More than 3,000 people have expressed interest in attending the mass sit-in, saying they have a legal right to gather peacefully and they've been driven to take this action because their demands aren't being met. What they want is for 120 asylum seekers being detained at Kangaroo Point to be freed by Christmas and allowed out to exercise until then. They should not think for a moment that they are part of one of the world's great protest movements. Those great Great protest movements put their own lives at risk. Those protests put their own lives at risk, not the lives of others. Luckily in Queensland, we have a legislated right to peaceful assembly that the police can't override. Protesters say there's plenty of room on the Story Bridge for them to socially distance. They'll all be wearing masks and using hand sanitizer. I'll have more on this unfolding story in the news at six. Police say it will be some time before they're able to charge a 25-year-old man accused of slashing a senior constable across the face in Upper Mount Gravatt on Wednesday. The male officer is in a stable condition at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital. His alleged attacker, Sava Hatsis Pass, remains in a critical condition at the PA after he was shot up to eight times by the injured officer's partner. Hundreds of loyal show fans have flocked to the RNA showgrounds to keep the Echo tradition going, including our very own reporter, Georgie Chumley. Here we are of what would have been day one of the Ecker and Sideshow Alley has been transformed into a drive through We'll take you over here and just have a chat to someone and ask them, Hello there. Tell us, what have you, why have you come down here today? We really miss the Ecker and we really think it's a fantastic idea, a very positive idea for, um, for, for here. And do you come every year? Every year to the Ecker. I'm a life member. Beautiful. And tell us, what have you ordered today? Uh, we ordered two strawberry sundaes and two Dagwood docks. Amazing. Thank you so much. Something here for everyone. We've never missed the Ecker, have we? 
so we're going to experience it however we can. I've been coming to the show for 43 years and I will never miss a day with dog and a strawberry sundae. This will be our lunch for probably the next 10 days, I should imagine. Even the Governor of Queensland came down in his Rolls Royce to grab a sundae. <laughs> If you're hoping for an iconic sweet treat closer to home, there are pop-up stalls all across southeast Queensland, like at Logan Hyperdome. Out like 10 minutes away, it's great. Instead of catching the train for like an hour, is it? For the closest one to you, check our Facebook page. The drive-through here at the RNA Showgrounds will be open for the next 10 days. Well, let's get a check of today's weather now with our coastal marine expert, Paul Burt. Hey, Kendall. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm not sure about you, but it is wet outside where you are. Hopefully you're getting some drizzle. I'll tell you what, we had around 22 millimetres falling on the Gold Coast to 9am this morning, all the way from uh, the back areas of Helensvale, in particular around Ravina, Miami, Mermaid, Brongary, Mudry Bar. Hello to everybody down there, stretching as far as the border. Lovely to see. Let's have a look at some of those temperatures today. Uh, 21 degrees coolest. That was up on the Sunshine Coast. 22 for Redcliffe. 23 in the city. Logan as well. 24 degrees here on the Gold Coast and 25 for our friends in Ipswich. Now, if you're heading to the beach tomorrow, it's going to be much better than what it is now, I can assure you. In fact, we're going to have westerly winds push through early. It'll blow all of this activity out to sea. So we're in for a, a very nice day tomorrow, maybe an early, early morning shower. But the swell is coming in from the southeast. Ten second intervals. Open beaches with westerly winds, everybody. No need to crowd the points. And there's going to be plenty of A-frames as we build up to that lunchtime high. And Kendall, a little bit wet at the moment, drive safe, but I'll have more weather for you shortly. It's definitely looking awfully grey behind you there in a usually mm. sunny surface paradise. Thanks, Bertie. Yeah. See you soon. International rescue teams head to Beirut. How Australia is helping with the clean-up effort following the deadly blast. Theme park fans, get ready. Next, an update on when Dreamworld will be reopening its doors and what drivers need to do to break the dangerous habit of using mobile phones behind the wheel. On 7 News, zero tolerance. Story Bridge protesters told, you shall not pass. Countdown to lockdown. Everything you need to know if you need to cross the border. Where you can go to get the ECA experience. And the high-tech driving revolution hitting the streets of the southeast. 7 News at 6. I'm about to take you on a journey so magical you'll never want to leave. A garden so unique your imagination will be running wild and the transformation proving size doesn't matter. We've only got a small area but I'll show you how to make a huge impact. New Better Homes, tonight at 7 on 7. At Spotlight, save more at our Homemaker Sale with 50% off forward Venetian blinds, 40% off all Riley room darkening curtains, 40% off made-to-measure indoor blinds, so you can open it, roll it and keep it warm for less. Sale on now. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. South Australia. You have to see it to believe it. And you can, thanks to 20% off South Australia holiday packages on Webjet. Get your Woolies worth with thousands of prices dropped across the store. Like Woolworths corned beef silver side from the meat department, now just $8 a kilo. That's why I pick Woolies. In the world we were living in, life was sweet. Bitter sweet. All we needed was a little help. Help to realize that another life was possible. They gave us the courage to change change for good, to change for goodness. Baby Bell, join the goodness. At Domain, save up to 60% off run-out Sleepmaker Silhouette mattresses, proudly Australian-made, plus more great deals on Domain's Sleepmaker Miracoil range. Queen-size mattresses from just $799. Choose the Sleepmaker React Queen mattress for five-zone support in a choice of fields, only $999 each. Or the Elevate Queen mattress, offering temperature regulation cool coat for year-round comfort. Up to 60% off run-out Sleepmaker Silhouette mattresses and more for a limited time, now at Domain. No matter how you care for them, take comfort that Huggies Ultra Dry Nappy Pants stretchy fit and instant absorption keeps your baby's skin dry and comfortable. Huggies, be comfortable in your skin. 
At Kitchen Connection, it's all about you. We'll work with you to create your dream kitchen. Book your kitchen renovation this month and receive 50% off your cabinets. Visit a Kitchen Connection or arrange an appointment online. Kitchen Connection, where it all comes together. What do I love? I love riding my bike. What do I love? I love my dog, my tiny baby. I love to teach. I love all my little Einsteins. I love not blending in. I love to stand out. Celebrate all the things you love and more with 20% off Pandora jewelry. Available for a limited time only. Conditions and exclusions apply. When you've earned a little treat, head into Macca's for your weekly deal. Grab a small cheeseburger meal with an extra cheeseburger for just $5. Only on the My Macca's app. Hurry in, ends this Sunday. This Saturday with Sportsbet at two tracks for all races. Finish second or third and get up to 50 bucks back in bonus bets. That's 18 races with Sportsbet. Ardent Leisure has announced they'll welcome back guests to their Gold Coast theme parks for the first time in almost five months. Dream World and White Water World are expected to open in time for the September school holidays. The park's owners saying they had secured millions in government funding to assist them. An official reopening date will be finalised in the next week. International rescue teams, including members of the Australian Defence Force, are being deployed to Beirut to help following the devastating chemical blast. The death toll has now reached more than 130 people, with at least 5,000 injured. Hugh Whitfeld has more. Protests are nothing new in the Lebanese capital, but people are back out on the streets just days after the blast, furious at what they believe is a corrupt and inept government that allowed this tragedy to occur. People simply aren't even at the point where they can think of rebuilding, yet they are in survival mode. Three days on from the devastating blast, the clean-up begins in Beirut. The army called in to help reopen roads, but as the day went on, tensions rose. Residents in the worst hit area of the city gathered for an impromptu demonstration, demanding those responsible be held accountable. And at the port, <laughs> grieving families demanded the bodies of missing workers be recovered. The blast, the last straw for so many after years of government corruption. Tonight, as some protesters approached the parliament, the Lebanese army reportedly fired tear gas. Australian John Paul Rahan is still unable to comprehend how he escaped with his life. It's my blood here. It's all my blood. His home, one of 300,000 impacted. And I saw a white cloud coming here. And I flew all the way here. Russia is sending a mobile hospital along with emergency workers. Humanitarian aid and equipment is being sent from Turkey and a team of Italian firefighters touched down overnight. French President Emmanuel Macron pledged his support as he walked the streets of Beirut. To help as rapidly as we can, we brought drugs, direct aid, soldiers, doctors. We have to send food. They need materials to build. As the search for the missing continues, at this stage, Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs says there have been no reports of more Australian fatalities or serious injuries. The French president saying he won't be giving any money or aid or assistance to the Lebanese government unless it reforms its corrupt ways, saying instead he'll be helping Lebanese citizens directly. An 18-year-old Newstead woman allegedly at the centre of a revenge porn scandal with a Brisbane Broncos star has been charged. Mackenzie Robinson will face court next month, accused of distributing a prohibited visual recording after an explicit video of Katoni Stagg surfaced on social media. The NRL Integrity Unit has cleared 21-year-old Staggs to play in tonight's match against the Rabbitohs. Illegal mobile phone use while driving should be treated like an addiction, according to road safety experts. As Rosanna Kingson explains, more people are now admitting to the dangerous habit. Queensland's peak motoring body says it's a positive sign that more and more people are recognising they have a problem with illegal mobile phone use while driving, but say many people are having problems kicking the bad habit. 
A study by the Australian Automobile Association found three quarters of drivers surveyed use their mobile phone while stopped at traffic lights to text or call, while half made calls and sent texts while moving. A quarter of young drivers and a third of experienced drivers admitted to using social media at the lights. More than one in ten used social media while on the move. As a society, we have to wake up to the dangers of mobile phone use. It's as bad as drink driving was 20, 30 years ago. 96% of drivers under the age of 26 said they had tried to reduce their mobile phone use in the car. The RACQ saying research shows the best way to tackle mobile phone addiction is to treat it like smoking or gambling. We're looking at understanding first and foremost the dangers associated with that, then setting up a plan and then having, even down to having a sponsor or a support person who can keep you on track. That's the most likely way you are to quit this habit. The peak motoring body has now launched an online tool which they say will help people train their brain to help break the dangerous addiction. An explosion rocks a Gold Coast home. How three people and a dog managed to escape. The marriage proposal that went up in flames. How it all went so horribly wrong. And see a fisherman's extraordinary encounter with a humpback whale. The vote is in on Queensland's nursing homes. The biggest survey, what really matters to families in need. 7 News, 6 o'clock. Kate Hudson is trading the high life for the family life. Raising Helen, tonight, 8.30 on 7. Hi, babe. Hey, um, I've been held up. Where are you? Why? You sound different. Do I? Yeah, you do. What? What did you buy? Yeah. Uh, Me too. The new T Rock and T Cross. You'll just want one. Volkswagen. When a Mac is craving hits, let McDelivery run to you contact free. For a limited time on weekends, get free delivery on orders $25 or more via our delivery partners. Search Mac's social pages for the promo code. We are regional Australia. We are winemakers. We are coffee roasters. Fashion designers. Potters. Bakers. Shopkeepers. We are asking for your support because the wine is pouring. The kiln is firing. And we're open for business. Because where you shop matters. Discover how Visa's network connects regional businesses to customers across Australia and the world. Streaming now on Disney Plus. Flora makes the food you love taste even better. And it's better for you because it's made with the goodness of sunflower oil. Now try new Flora Plant with no dairy, nuts or gluten so everyone can enjoy the great taste of Flora. Eat good. Introducing Skechers Go Walk Smart. It all starts with our Smart Flex design, Ultra Go cushioning, air-cooled Goga mat insoles, and impact-reducing comfort pillars that soften every step. They're also machine washable. That's Skechers Go Walk Smart. Since early April, we've given over 250,000 UE clients and new clients temporary relief on their car insurance premiums because they're using their cars less due to this crisis. UE, you insured. We've been your Sunday drive. Your taxi. Thank you. Your home away from home. We've shared your journey. Now with Mazda Assured, the journey continues. With a guaranteed future value, you can enjoy a new Mazda more often. Search Mazda Assured today. When a Mac is craving hits, let McDelivery run to you contact free. For a limited time on weekends, get free delivery on orders $25 or more via our delivery partners. Search Mac's social pages for the promo code. 
An explosion has rocked a house on the Gold Coast this morning. Emergency crews were called to the Parkwood home around 9 o'clock. It's understood flames broke out in one of the rooms. Three people and a dog were inside at the time but were able to escape. A man and woman were treated for burns and smoke inhalation. It's not yet known what caused the explosion. The future of the powerful American gun lobby is in the crosshairs itself after a legal push to disband the polarising National Rifle Association. It's reignited the gun debate in the middle of an election campaign. David Woywood has the latest. Good afternoon. Well, it was all about guns and God today in a heated day of campaigning in the United States. Wearing a mask and touring the knife-edge state of Ohio, President Trump was involved in a near miss the Ohio governor testing positive to COVID-19 just hours before the pair were due to meet. Our great governor, governor of Ohio, DeWine, just tested positive just here and we want to wish him the best. The same couldn't be said for his political rival, Joe Biden. The president intensified attacks on his opponent, describing Joe Biden as a reckless, godless radical. No religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt... God. He's against God. He's against guns. The comments were sparked after the New York Attorney General moved to dissolve the powerful National Rifle Association amid allegations of corruption. Claims the gun lobby had misused $63 million in charitable and member dues to fund the lavish lifestyle of its executives. My office filed a lawsuit against the National Rifle Association to dissolve the organization in its entirety for years of self-dealing and illegal conduct. The NRA fired back, describing the legal push as a baseless, premeditated attack. It's now launched its own action. Familiar battle lines drawn and still 88 days to go until Election Day. Islamic State has changed tact, launching a new recruitment video that urges potential jihadi terrorists to attack Australia using fire. We've chosen not to show the shocking clip titled Insight the Believers. The clip promotes the use of deliberately lit bushfires, with the narrator claiming they have the power to claim more lives and destroy more land than bombings. A man who decided to spell out the words marry me using 100 tea light candles has burned down his flat. The big moment took a turn for the worst when he left the apartment to pick up his girlfriend from work. They returned to find it engulfed in flames. Fortunately, she still said yes, despite the unfortunate mishap. Pictures from the scene show the charred and blackened remains of the tea light candles and balloons. A Gold Coast fisherman has had a spectacular and slightly terrifying encounter with a humpback whale. He was fishing with a friend off the seaway yesterday when the giant mammal appeared beneath their jet skis. Holy sh You should have seen it right next to me! Oh! <laughs> The whale stayed with the pair for several minutes, gliding just beneath the craft before continuing on its northern migration. Beautiful pictures there. And if you are on the Gold Coast, thanks so much for your company. You're off to the chase now. And Amanda Abate will have your local 7 Gold Coast news at 5.30. For the rest of Queensland, new measures in place at the Sunshine Coast Stadium after spectators flout social distancing rules. An urgent plea from a Victorian nurse struck down with COVID. And a kitten rescue takes a bizarre turn. On 7 News, zero tolerance. Story Bridge protesters told, you shall not pass. Countdown to lockdown. Everything you need to know if you need to cross the border. Where you can go to get the Ecker experience. And the high-tech driving revolution hitting the streets of the southeast. 7 News at 6. This is the night that decides who will make the final. We are going to ask you to perform again. They'll fight for their place. Oh! oh. Yes, yes! The judges must choose... So hard! ...who will survive. Has to be a yes. I don't think it's a yes. It's time to make a decision. Brand new America's Got Talent, Tuesday, 7.30 on 7.
Centrum provides multiple health benefits in just one tablet. Centrum, complete from A to Zinc. A lot of people have sensitive teeth, but gum health is really important as well. If you've got sensitive teeth, you should be looking for something to help with the sensitivity, but you should also be thinking about, do I need to look after my gums? Using the new Sensodyne Sensitivity and Gum Toothpaste not only deals with sensitivity, it also maintains gum health when used twice a day, every day. I think it's fantastic to have a dual action toothpaste. Two benefits with the one toothpaste, what a great idea. Macca's fries are made with 100% Aussie potatoes grown on farms like Kev's. We've been supplying Macca's for many years. And for a limited time, cheeseburger shaker fries are back. Macca's fries, get them fresh or replaced on us. Jump into the Freedom Sofa event for up to 25% off selected leather and fabric sofas. And right now, get 50 months interest-free store-wide. No one knows sofas like Freedom. Make your house feel like home with Beacon's Makeover Sale. Get 30% off your second item when you mix and match from our entire range of lights and fans. That's a saving of 30% on your second item. Sale ends next Sunday. Live from Brisbane, 7 News with Kendall Gilding. Welcome back. Making news this Friday. Thousands of people have made a last minute dash back to Queensland as authorities prepare to shut the borders to people from New South Wales and the ACT from 1am. Businesses and workers impacted by the COVID-19 crisis are being thrown a lifeline. The federal government has announced a $15 billion expansion of the JobKeeper program. And protesters are holding firm on plans to shut down the Story Bridge tomorrow afternoon. Police are warning them they will face immediate arrest if it goes ahead. Crowds at the Sunshine Coast Stadium will be capped at a third of its capacity during NRL games after coming under fire for the lack of social distancing during a match last weekend. A makeshift grandstand has been erected on the grassy hill. A lot of work has gone into it uh, and a lot of conversations with Queensland Health, but um, they are very comfortable that it meets their guidelines. Chairs have been separated into small groups to ensure patrons adhere to social distancing restrictions. The virus is worse than you can imagine. That's the message from a Melbourne nurse who has filmed his own struggle with COVID-19. He's furious with young people not taking the pandemic seriously and is making headlines across the country this afternoon. Nick McCallum reports. It's a powerful message from a young, fit 24-year-old determined to dispel the myth that coronavirus is devastating only for older people. My name's Dan and I'm a registered nurse. Dan Collins is scared, very scared. I've got a cough, intermittent fever, sore throat, I've lost my smell, I've lost my taste. And then there's also the worry of chronic health condition. This is the living room sort of area. He's now in quarantine in a Melbourne hotel. He had been working at Flemington and North Melbourne Towers and cared for infected aged care residents brought to Royal Melbourne Hospital. One he watched die. He's furious at those, particularly the young, not taking the virus seriously. And to those people who think it's an old person's disease... Yeah, they're wrong because it does and it's it's awful you don't want it his message ends with this impassioned plea trust me i've got COVID. i'm young but it sucks it's even more potent when you consider there are 1537 healthcare workers just like dan who have tested positive for COVID 19. A Gold Coast woman and her grandchildren have had a lucky escape after their car was impaled by a metal rod. They were driving on the M1 near Pimpama when the terrifying incident occurred. The damage isn't that severe. A broken plastic water tank, a shattered headlight and a deep gouge in the front bumper. Minor scars until you see what caused them. It's really heavy. It's metal and it's quite thick. Denise Passfield was driving on the M1 at Pimpama with her two grandchildren yesterday afternoon when suddenly the car in front of her swerved. All of a sudden, my, I had water on my windscreen and a big bang 
cars in front were pointing down. After taking the next exit, Denise surveyed the damage, finding a metre-long metal rod speared into the front of her car. So I got a 15-year-old sitting beside me and she was actually, oh, nanny, 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 if that had it come through you, we wouldn't have you. The rod split the water tank, missing the front wheel by centimetres. Driving at 110 k's an hour, losing control of the car could have been fatal. Denise plans to keep the rod to remind her of her lucky escape. If she had have been driving a smaller car, it could have gone through the windscreen. While it's unclear how the rod ended up on the M1, it's found a new home, staked in Denise's garden garden where it will remain unless its owners come knocking. I reckon there should be some DNA on there. On the Gold Coast, Kate Ryan, 7 News. Well, let's get a check of finance now with Stephen Dagley at Comsec. Steve, an underwhelming performance from the Aussie share market to finish the week. Uh, good afternoon, Kendall. Exactly right. Not the happiest of Fridays for our market. In fact, shares fell back for the third time in five days. We fell back by approximately half a percent. And certainly what didn't help is US-China tensions ramping up this afternoon and also the Reserve Bank flagging a slower recovery for the Aussie economy in 2021. Having said that, the good news is that thanks to some big gains on Tuesday, we're still in a slightly better position now than we were a week ago last Friday. Uh, today, we had a, quite a messy performance across the market, though, with the worst performers actually are mining companies like Rio Tinto and BHP. Also healthcare companies like Fisher Paykel and, uh, and CSL dropped back. IAG also fell. This is the owner of NRMA on some disappointing profit results. But some of the better performers included some of those travel stocks that have been terrible performers this year. But we've had Qantas Flight Centre doing well and the Aussie dollar 72 US. Kendall. Stephen Daglian, thanks so much. A stubborn homeowner who tried to hold out for a better demolition deal from the government has come off second best. Her tiny house now sits wedged between four lanes of traffic in South China. For a decade, she rejected offers, so an overpass was eventually built around her property. She's the only one out of 47 households who still lives there. When interviewed, she said she was happy to deal with the consequences and found her new environment, environment liberating, pleasant and comfortable. A farmer in Colombia who thought he was doing a perfect deed by rescuing a kitten has had a shock when he discovered he'd instead taken in a baby cougar. The farmer had spotted the kitten on the side of a highway and thought she'd been abandoned, so he took her home. He says he started to suspect his guest was more than just a house cat after noticing some unusual behaviour. So the experts were called in and took the little feline to a wildlife refuge. Pat joins me for a look at the day's sport next. Also, a cold case investigation which has Australia hooked. New developments on a crime mystery. And how drivers from Ipswich can be part of the country's largest trial of connected vehicles. The vote is in on Queensland's nursing homes. The biggest survey, what really matters to families in need. 7 News, 6 o'clock. Last year went down to the final kick. But can the Bombers and Giants do it again? This time, four, three, two, one, right on the siren. And the excitement machines are unleashed. Charlie Cameron, Bottoms Kelly. Lions versus Bulldogs. X Factor everywhere. Two huge games start tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Go to the footy on seven, mate. What's your name? Ah, oh, sorry. I've already got a boyfriend. <laughs> Did someone say KFC? I don't care. I love it. There's only one thing to look for. Choose a super fund with this symbol. We're all in this together. I love to teach. I love all my little Einsteins. Celebrate all the things you love and more with 20% off Pandora jewellery. Available for a limited time only. Conditions and exclusions apply. Life's full of... <gasps> and... And even... From the bathroom, to the computer, car, barbecue, windows, floors... No matter how messy life gets, Handy Paper Towel is handy for every situation. 
every spill, smear or smudge. Handy paper towel. Keep it handy. Unpolished beauty. It defines our country. And at Stratco, it's what we do. Custom crafting, roofing and cladding solutions for remarkable Australian homes. Colourbond Steel's stunning matte finish. Brought to life by Stratco How To. Pay less every day at The Good Guys. Get free delivery on selected deluxe cookers like this Amiga Cooker 1648 and bonus finish and scalex on selected dishwashers like this Bosch dishwasher 153 off. Only at The Good Guys. Vodafone is for all you rulers. We get you, stream queens, and you, kings of connection. And you, your majesties of working from home. We're for you, supreme providers of screen time. And definitely you, the rejectors of contracts. It's your rules, your network, and Vodafone is at your command. You rule with Vodafone. Our skin goes through a lot, day by day. Time to reward it. Discover Nivea Body Lotion with Deep Moisture Serum. For 48-hour deep moisture, you can feel and see. COVID new rules. Are they working? The lockdowns, travel, schooling, shopping, lifestyle. The most comprehensive coverage. Weekend sunrise at 7 a.m. Every evening at 6 o'clock, we report to you. Asking the question. Contact tracing is now underway. But matter to you. Rolled out their COVID plan. Investigating the issues. Federal police raise concerns. Important to you. The South East prepares. It'll take decades to repay. It's the reason. 7 News can exclusively reveal. Nobody knows Brisbane like 7 News. Brisbane's most experienced team. A report by Queensland Health Officers found... Every evening at 6 o'clock. Our job is to report to you. For you. Every night. Nobody knows news like 7. It's hoped a new podcast by a leading investigative reporter will help solve one of Australia's greatest crime mysteries. 31-year-old store manager Janine Vaughan disappeared from Bathurst almost 19 years ago. Ashley Hansen has more. The country town of Bathurst has been haunted by the disappearance of Janine Vaughan for almost two decades. Now the world is about to hear about the cold case. The bubbly and beautiful 31-year-old vanished after a night out in December 2001. She was last seen getting into a mystery red car and never seen again. Her family are fuelled by anguish and anger. I hate that I come to this town and people still don't know who Janine Vaughan is. That just really riles me up. Despite three persons of interest, a coronial inquest and a police integrity commission inquiry, Janine's killer or body has never been found. Please come forward. She loved us and if she is alive and she would be in a lot of pain knowing that we're gone through this, please. More twists and turns in the case have now been uncovered by the Australian newspaper journalist Hedley Thomas. He was behind the hit podcast, The Teacher's Pet. Janine's family hope this new podcast, The Night Driver, will eventually lead them to her remains and the people responsible for taking her precious life. Well, let's get a quick look at the day's sport now with Pat. Kendall, thank you. Hello, everyone. As you've heard, Broncos great Alan Langer will undergo COVID testing after he and two staff members attended a private function for Alfie's birthday last weekend at Brisbane's Caxton Hotel. Langer's been prevented from travelling with the team for tonight's Rabbitohs clash. It's another black eye after Wayne Bennett and Paul Vaughan's blemishes. I love to go to the pub, have a beer with my mates. I love to go out to lunch or go to dinner with the family. But you can't. We've just got to keep reminding each other. You know, it's, it's life, you know, it's where we are at this present moment. Under tough times, you find out the, uh, the true character of people. Overnight, the Roosters overcame absence of almost $3 million in talent to beat the Feisty Dragons 24-16. Mitch Orbison scoring in his 300th match. The Cavalry is arriving for the Lions with almost 600 games experience returning to the Gabba tomorrow night. While the coach has pleased Rich, Birchall and McStay are back to tackle the Bulldogs. He bristled at talk of the inaccuracy that cost them against Richmond, kicking four goals 17. 
I don't know what it was, mate. I couldn't tell you because most of those guys that miss those shots kick them most times. So uh, we've, we, you, you lot have probably talked about it more than what we have, to be honest. The Lions share second spot with the Saints after last night's Gold Coast thriller. Sun's fifth gamer, Isaac Rankin, lit up Metricon, sparking a second half fight back. But Dan Butler's silver service produced four goals in the four point win. Jason Day shares the lead in a great start for the Aussies at the PGA Championship. Emerging from his slump at San Francisco's Harding Park, the 2015 champion set the pace with an early bogey free 65. Day is five under. Pretty sound the whole way round. I you know, had a lot of good quality sh iron shots coming into the greens. All six Aussies are within six of the lead, including Adam Scott at two under in his return to the tour. At one over, Cameron Smith is ruining three late dropped shots. Big bad Bryson DeChambeau snapped the shaft of his driver, but was allowed to continue oh with goodness. the replacement. Lots more, lots more on all those stories coming up tonight. He hits it very hard. Obviously. <laughs> See you at six. Thanks, Paddy. The state government is looking for 500 drivers from Ipswich to be part of Australia's largest trial of connected vehicles. The new technology is designed to help eliminate car accidents and is already proving a huge success in Europe. Brittany Lane was at the launch. Well, behind me is one of the cars fitted out with this connected, specialised technology, which is predicted to revolutionise the way we drive. The technology links with roadside infrastructure and operations systems to share safety-related messages about the car's surroundings. Our road toll as of midnight yesterday stands at 145, which is 26 above what it has been in previous years. Any of this technology that will assist the driver to be more cautionary around intersections or other roadworks uh, will certainly be a benefit. Warnings like change of speed limit, upcoming road workers or a hazard are alerted to the driver in real time. The technology is looking beyond what the driver can see and also the sensors that are in the vehicle. The state government is now calling on 500 volunteers from Ipswich to take part in the pilot from their own vehicles. The participants will need to drive around the streets of Ipswich for a minimum of three hours a week for the next nine months. I'd like to thank the state government for, for selecting Ipswich. It's the natural home for a project like this. And those who do take part will also receive vouchers throughout the pilot, totalling $500 by the end. Coming up, Bertie will have the latest weather forecast. Also, giving birth on the side of a busy highway. A mum forced to pull over and push. And how you can stay in your very own treehouse right here in the southeast. On 7 News, zero tolerance. Story Bridge protesters told, you shall not pass. Countdown to lockdown. Everything you need to know if you need to cross the border. Where you can go to get the Ecker experience. And the high-tech driving revolution hitting the streets of the southeast. 7 News at 6. Good afternoon, Dave Andrews checking out the roads this afternoon thanks to Victoria's basements. Very wet roads this afternoon too and a truck's gone into traffic lights on Brackenridge Road eastbound just before Norris Road through Brackenridge. That's going to be there for a while. Big delays too on the gateway northbound from Nudgee all the way through to the Bruce Highway and the Bruce Highway continues very slow all the way up towards Burpengary. Victoria's basements massive range of professional cookware, knives and kitchenware gives you the tools to cook safely at home. Shop online now for Victoria's famous basement prices. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll check the roads again for you Monday. Tonight is a huge night. It is the farmer wants a wife, a country ball. And love is in the air. I came here to find a partner. Fall in love and live happily ever after. But one farmer is about to have his heart broken. That's true then. Yep. She just betrayed me. I definitely liked her. I thought she was a great girl, but I was pretty hurt to hear that. I was in shock. A bit emotional. <laughs> Probably best to not come back to the farm. New Farmer Wants a Wife, Sunday at 7 on 7.
Anaconda's winter clear-out sale is on now. 40% off all thermals by Mountain Designs. 30% off all clothing by The North Face. Head in store or shop online at anacondastores.com. Winter feels so much more cosy with 50% off at Plush. Shop in showroom or online now with 48 months interest free. When did every day start to feel like one of those days? It's why we developed Panadol Rapid. Absorbed two times faster than regular Panadol tablets so you can keep pace with the day. The thing is, today's pace takes a toll. It's time to rethink how we look after ourselves. Because every positive change, no matter how small, can make all the difference. Together, let's rethink care. Happy birthday! I see yeah. you. <laughs> Help take care of your family with Medibank Life Insurance. Apply for cover up to $2.5 million, depending on age and income. Are you a little kid with a big idea? You could win $10,000. Search Origin Little Big Idea to enter the competition. Beating her gut and it's good bacteria. Making it tasty, that's my criteria. New Helga's digestive well-being feeds the good bacteria in your gut. It's almost time for liftoff. This team score is out of this world. Houston to the nerd probe. Better strap on those super rocket super nerds. Full thrust nerd probe. Tennis to great. Correct. Because you're in for a bumpy ride. What is the common term for a Russian astronaut? New the chase. Weekdays on 7. Good afternoon, Queensland. You are watching 7 News as we come to you live from what is normally a very sunny Gold Coast beach, but today... Quite the opposite. Uh, had some good falls across the southeast since 9 a.m. Around 20 millimetres falling Bow Desert. Around 10 to 11 degree uh, uh, millimetres around the city. 15 up there around the Sunshine Coast. Gold Coast, however, around 30 millimetres. So some good falls around some of the suburbs. Let's take a look at what's causing all of this. To the charts, you can see that low pressure system sitting over New South Wales. Uh, we're seeing a ridge pushing off that to the north, and that is what's bringing that rain band with a few embedded thunderstorms along with that as well. We did have some claps of thunder earlier this morning across the coastal regions. Now, we're going to see that system hovering around us tonight, so some more falls forecast into the early hours of tomorrow. Now, behind that, we will see some northwest west winds. That'll blow it out into the Coral Sea later tomorrow. So we're going to see a clearer afternoon into Sunday, looking the pick day at this stage, not for the southern majors, with more showers and cool weather forecasts. Around the nation, going to be a shower too for Sydney, 18 degrees. Canberra, cold and overcast, 4 to 14. And mostly sunny for Perth, 21. Back to the tropics, looking gorgeous for Cairns. A possible morning shower. Uh, Townsville, 29 degrees, place to be at the moment. Further south, overcast of Rockhampton, 27. Sh a shower or two coastal, mainly from Gympie, north towards uh, Harvey Bay, tops of 24. Back home, pretty good later in the day. In the morning, expect a shower or two, few millimetres of fall. Tops of 25 degrees in the city, 26 for Ipswich, and 25 most coastal regions, 24 on the Sunshine Coast. Kendall will be back at 6 with your full weekend weather wrap. See you then. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Bertie. Catch you then. Well, taking a look at tonight's news, and Max, the countdown is well and truly on to our hard border shutdown. It is, Kendall, and tonight we explain clearly everything you need to know about that border bubble and the postcodes that are affected. Queenslanders are doing a great job containing COVID, and we're committed to bringing you the facts every night. Also, Max, we're learning confidence in aged care homes has plummeted. Yeah, it has. Our exclusive report reveals many families wanting their loved ones removed from facilities. Tonight, our special report into the future of the industry and what's being done to keep our older Australians safe. And it's a sight and sound for sore eyes out west. Yeah, and worth waiting for as well, Kendall. Steady downpours drenching properties as a powerful low pressure system sweeps east this afternoon. We'll have a full wrap up of the rain in Western Queensland and the outlook for the southeast at six o'clock. It's great when it reaches where it's needed. Yeah. We'll see you at six. Thanks, Max.
A mother and baby are said to be doing well in a Sydney hospital after a dramatic birth by the side of one of Sydney's busiest motorways. Dad was forced to pull over onto the side of the M4 as they travelled to hospital. A baby girl made her entrance into the world shortly afterwards, even before paramedics arrived. There's no word yet on a name for the rush hour delivery. If you've ever wanted to sleep amongst the treetops, here's your chance. A boutique tourism operator is offering a unique treehouse experience in the Gold Coast hinterland. There are four treehouses to choose from. Guests have to climb a spiral staircase to get to their sleeping quarters. These treehouses are 100% off grid, um, so we catch our own water. Each house has a bath on the top floor where guests can peer right through the forest canopy back to the coast. To social media now, it's been a big week for Trump. First was his baffling interview with Jonathan Swan. Now he's trending again for mispronouncing Thailand. Take a listen. Shifting production to Thailand and to Vietnam, Thailand and Vietnam. Yep, you heard correctly. Thailand is now trending on Twitter around the world. A new trailer has dropped for Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant's upcoming series, The Undoing. The psychological thriller follows the lives of a New York couple. This is what rich, entitled people do when threatened. They conceal the ugly truths. It'll be available on Binge in October. And it's Friday afternoon, so maybe you're reaching for a glass of wine. Take some inspiration from Cameron Diaz, who made her very first TikTok video doing the wine challenge. Other celebs have been quick to follow, including Aussies Lara Worthington and Phoebe Tonkin. And to stay connected over the weekend, make sure you like our pages on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And that's our 4pm news for another week. I'm Kendall Gilding. Thanks so much for your company. The Chase is next, but make sure you join Max and Sharon for 7 News tonight at 6. Have a great weekend.